Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're going to start on our blow through carburetor build today. So, we'll, I'll try to go through everything and let y'all know what I'm doing and why we're doing it. And we'll see if we can get this thing to work. So, we're going to start off uh, today working on fuel ball stuff. This has a brass bolt float in it. And we're going to change the needle and seat and we're going to change the uh, accelerator pump. So I bought this stuff from uh, BLP, which is Bolaw's Performance, right, right here. Um, they are in Orlando. They are a carb and pump specialist. Uh, they've been around for a long time. They do a lot of high-end carburetor stuff. You know, they were back doing split dominators and stuff back in the day. Um, so they've been around a long time, and they do a lot of carburetor stuff. And what's interesting about them is you can buy everything piece by piece. So, so you can see, um, I bought all the parts separately, and they packaged them real nice. And we got a nitro fill float, and we got springs, and the 50cc pumps and some extra gaskets um, and you can buy all that stuff separately and it's considerably cheaper than buying it uh, through you know one of the chains and buying a kit so uh, I bought all this stuff to change over to the 50cc uh, for about half of what it costs if you buy it as a kit um, through BLP so if you're looking for some carburetor stuff and looking to save some money uh, check out Bolaw's performance in Orlando so uh, let's get going uh, so this carburetor here, um, it had two different floats in it. So it has a nitrofill float in the back. This is the secondary. It's nice enough for Barry Grant to label these. <laughs> um, but this has a nitrofill float in it already, so we're not going to change that. Uh, but we are going to change this brass one. And it's as simple as swapping out these uh, the screws. We're also going to change out the... Uh, needle and seat and the needle and seat is how you adjust the float level I don't know if you can see that that's how the float level has changed and we're going to put the bigger accelerator pumps in it so we'll start by changing out this uh, first we'll take out the needle and seat because you can't take out the float unless you do that so this needle and seat Here's the needle and seat assembly. This one, I doubt you can see that, but it's a 110, which is about standard. Um, these also have a rubber tip on them. Uh, so that is the standard needle and seat. We're gonna be replacing that with the set from Holly. These are 150s, so they're considerably larger, and they are set up for alcohol. They are the steel tip. They don't have the rubber in them. Um, because we're gonna be E85, we want the bigger needle and seat, and we want the steel tips. But first, we'll change out the float. So you can just take these, um, these screws in here. And the float assembly comes spring on them and we're going to replace them with this nitrofill. So these just go together like this. Um, that pin just slides, the pin slides through. The spring is sometimes a pain in the ass to get back in place, but let's see if we can do this without too much drama. That. So that just that assembly then just slides back into place. And the two screws go back. 
can. That's it. Get your nitrofill float in. These have notches for jet extensions. We might have to notch this again for the um, for the extension on the boost reference power valve. But um, that's how that works. So then we're going to do needle and seat. So these are the new needle and seats. And you can see they say on them 150s. And you can, I don't know if y'all can see that, but the, they have all steel. So they are not susceptible to alcohol. Um, they come with new gaskets. The gaskets go on the, on the nut. So let me clean these gaskets off and put that needle and stick this in the vise and take a razor blade to it. These gaskets off. It's nice and cleaned up. So we got those cleaned up. Um, get rid of that. Some people like to use chapstick or whatever on these to make sure the gaskets don't stick. I always tend to use a little bit of Vaseline on this stuff um, and on the seal. Stick the 150 in there. And this only goes on one way. Um, kind of to get over to the point. And if you turn these upside down and you make them pretty much level with the float bowl, the float sight glass, that's a nice starting point. That'll that'll get you in the ballpark for when you first hit this thing with fuel. gasket. And I'm just going to hand tighten that. So that's that's it. There's a nitrofill float with the ex jet extension stuff set up. So we got our 150 with our nitro fill float. Now we're going to start on the accelerator pump. So accelerator pump. Not rocket science. We'll just take this on. Uh, I did buy from Bell Laws the screws for this, but I did just go to the local hardware store and get some longer screws because these uh, the 50 cc's are deeper they do come if you buy the kit um, but you know and you can buy them for 12 cents at the local hardware store so that comes off like that you get this and, and the spring so this rubber piece acts like a check valve so when it pulls down that opens up and lets the fuel in. <clears throat> so we'll replace this stuff with the with the bigger 50cc stuff. And let me go grab those longer screws. So there we go. I bought some Allen head screws at the local hardware store. And that's what we're going to use. To this your bridge firmly centered.
that's it. So we got 50 cc pump for the for the accelerator pump. And now we'll do the same to the other. So there we go. So we got both port walls modified. Got our 50 cc accelerator pumps. They both have nitrofill floats in them. They both got 150 seats. So we're done with the bolts. So next what we're going to do is make some modifications to the body. We're going to change out these arms to the more stout arms that are set up for the 50 cc accelerators. And we're going to, but we're going to start with um, blocking off this channel because we're going to be using a boost reference power valve. Now this power valve came from Simple Stage. Uh, their website is simple sage, simplestage.shop. Uh, I believe the guy's name is Elliot Paulson that makes these. <clears throat> um, so, fun story about this is that Simple Stage is a inexpensive bump box you can get for the car. It's a little um, adjustable piece that you can just wire in. And but before he started selling those, he had instructions online on how to build one. And I built the bump box in this car using using his instructions. So this bump box here, the, let's see if I can get it. This bump box here is wired into this solid state relay and that is what controls the bump in this car. <coughs> and so now I have his simple stage. And if you go to his website, uh, simplestage.shop, there's videos of this car bumping in using the Simple Stage uh, as a advertisement for him. So I appreciate him putting out all the information that he does, and he has, and he's now building these boost reference power valves because he has a blow through as well. Um, and they come with the power valve and a tap and the screw to put in it and an extension for the power valve. So it's a pretty nice setup. Um, he had like a Black Friday sale and they were $20 off, so um, we went ahead and did that. But in order to install these, you have to modify the, um, this hole right here. Let's see if I can do this without getting it in my eye. But if you spray in this hole right here, you'll see it's, it's coming out the hole here. So on a normal normal carburetor situation, you have vacuum here, which creates vacuum here, which runs the power valve. But in a boost reference power valve, you'll have boost under here and boost in the, in the fuel bowl, and you don't want them fighting against each other. So basically you just block this one off so it doesn't get any boost into here, and you only boost reference the valve. And it's adjustable, so um, that's, the, that's nice that you can just with a screwdriver, adjust when this opens based, uh, unlike these that are just rated at 6.5, this is adjust completely adjustable. So that's pretty cool. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna block that hole and get the body set up for the boost reference power. Plant. So let's do that. So his kit comes with this tap. So you can just tap that hole and then it also comes with the little plug to plug it with. So I'm going to do it by hand so I don't screw it up. And Threads in there now. And we will blow this out backwards. Again, let's see if I can do this without getting into my eyes. Make sure there's no metal shavings in there. Alright, so this has a little tiny Allen head screw. and 
pues. Clean. Uh, we're going to put some Loctite on that so this doesn't fall out and into the engine. So we'll be right back. I got to go locate my red Loctite. All right, so we have some red Loctite. We're just going to put a little dab on this and try not to lose this in the process. That's it. Bam. Done. So we have that channel blocked off with the Bruce reference power valve. So next up on the body, we're going to replace these standard arms with these super beefy ones from uh, Bo Voss. So this should just come. This should be able to just come right off. Gasoline on there, and that one should just be able to go right back on. One side, and do the same on the other. Thank <laughs> you. 